what is going on guys it is your man twisted drifter and today guys we are here with the forza horizon 4 demo now guys we have been waiting for this for a very long time got a huge announcement as well guys a huge giveaway that is going to be announced in this video be sure to stay tuned for that as well as some day one car pack news and a few other details that we are going to talk about during this video so without further ado let's hop into the beta here or the, excuse me the demo and let's go and check out Forza Horizon 4 I'll see you guys once I get all the stuff set up here all right guys here we go here's what I see oh, oh man. I've been waiting for this for so long I see a festival that never ends Where you can be whatever you want to be. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream life. The yeah, Audi, though, with the with the, uh, That's the rooftop carrier. That's wild. There. Here Let we go, guys. You. We got this. That center, though. A that new that thing is just gorgeous, guys. I've got to say that Don't that McLaren anywhere. Senna Horizon is just beautiful. First things first, though, guys. We gotta go in here. Love the way they do the pause now. That how well, you can see your car in the background. So real quick, game difficulty here. Set the AI to above average. Uh, custom here. Now there is a new insane driving assist, which means everything is forced off. Simulation steering is even added on. Again, we're going in custom though. ABS off, normal steering, traction off, stability off. Going just the manual with this one. Just because it, you don't really see a Senna having where you have to use the clutch yourself. I'm pretty sure that's an automatic clutch. Going with the simulation. It looks like it doesn't have fuel and tire wear this time though. You got cosmetic or straight up simulation damage. We're gonna go cosmetic damage for now, and we're going to put re rewinds on just to be on the safe side, guys. But pretty much that's how we're doing it. Going to the HUD and gameplay, make sure we're on miles per hour here. Units are in are the English units, so we're good here. And digital de speedo, please. Thank you. Always go with that, and everything else is good to go. So here we go. Ex Let's go to the quick rewind on that for once we get to the online rewinds. And of course, here is your layouts, guys. Pretty much the same thing here. Uh, again, as I said, I am going to. Uh, force feedback feels good, but I'm going to turn the feedback scale up just a little bit here. And understeer up just a little bit here. Same with the minimum force, just down a little bit. And that should be good to go for what all I need. And here we go, guys. Let's go and get behind the wheel of this beautiful McLaren Senna. And get into this beautiful game. So here we go, guys. Up in the cockpit view here. This thing just looks gorgeous. The game itself looks gorgeous, guys. And I am... I can say I have not been this impressed with the Forza Horizon game. Ever since the Horizon game came out, this game is just blowing me away. Just graphically, visually, I am in, I'm I'm impressed. Oh shoot. Whoa! Okay, so that was a, a breakable wall there. The car is very tough to um the car does not want to counter steer at all, so that's something interesting. Like she doesn't want to bring herself back after a counter steer. So that's interesting to see. You gotta be very careful with the steering inputs on this car. Puddle, puddle, watch out for the puddle. Do not want to hide your plane. Sheep! No, you cannot wall tap a sheep, guys. The sheep are got the sheep are avoidable. They will avoid you at all costs. They will I've heard they will glitch out of the way if they have to. It's some of the smartest animal AI that turn 10 has ever put into a game according to what I've been hearing so you could not wall tap a sheep I'm sorry Don't you want song I'm sorry you can't wall tap the sheep 
And that is it with the Senna. So next we should be going into the uh, RJ Anderson uh, truck. And pretty much the start off of this game, guys, is the E3 demo. So if you did not see the E3 demo, this is pretty much what all was included in that. And definitely gives you a feel of how much different each vehicle is. And it's definitely something that I do like. Uh, each, each different season type is just completely different. And one thing I am going to point out, at the pause menu, it's, as you guys can see at the top left, it shows the weather. And weather in this game, guys, as you guys can see, it's 28 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and it's got light snow. So, as we go back here, as you guys will, uh, will know, if you may not know, this game is weather actually does play an effect on the tire physics. So, as the temperature changes, as the seasons change, the tire physics will change with that. As it, as it gets colder, the tires will react to temperature, they will react to everything like the tires do in real life. And that's something that Horizon 4 has really, that Playground Games has really prided themselves on with this game. It's the uh, tire dynamics. And I have to say, it feels much better than any Forza Horizon game I have ever played. And, this, of course, this is just a demo. Um, I actually just hit, I was trying to turn the volume down on my TV and just, um, really messed myself up there, so, I'm uh, really not sure what, I do apologize for that, guys, that just cost us a lot of ground there, but, definitely loving how this game plays out, let's see if we can catch up, it's going to be a tough challenge to catch up, without, I think, but, we'll see what we can do here, we don't have much ground to catch up. Uh, very much what I did was I was trying to turn my volume down and I accidentally hit the key manual button on the remote. And as you guys know with Samsung, uh, smart TVs, they do have that key manual built in. So I accidentally went and hit that button instead of the remote, or the volume control, and that caused that to happen. So far though, the game looks beautiful. Loving the transitions in this opening scene where you go between the seasons. I do like the transition to it. Here we go, the one I'm most hyped for. You gotta love my rally. As you guys know, I love my dirt. I love my mud racing. And this right, is guys, just something that just really is enjoyable. So here we go. Oh god, that's a tree. Avoid the trees. Back on the road here. Here we go. Oh, oh, alright, alright. Now we are just using the, the TH8A for this, guys. We're still using the paddles. Did we just lose yellow. Oh, uh, shite. We're going to rewind that. First rewind of the video here. That was just a, uh, car did not want to over, uh, oversteer or correct itself. And that's one thing that I've noticed is that it's a lot harder to, uh, to correct yourself in a, in a spin, guys. Uh, so, definitely something that I will be, it's going to take me a while to relearn how to drift on the wheel with this game, I can already tell, because the physics are just that much different. Um, it's definitely, uh, more motorsport-like, and that's something I've asked, I've been asking for a Horizon game for years, is to give us a Coming more motorsport-like feel. And it seems like they've actually done that. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, it feels like they actually have done that and given us a more motorsport-like feel, guys. And that's something I have been asking for for a long time in these Horizon games. Oh, God. Yeah, we're uh, rewinding that. Um, that was bad. Not going to reverse. I said rewind. Okay, screw it. Going into the, uh, this view. This is the view that everybody has been wanting for Horizon 3 when they saw it used hey, at E3. And now it's here in Horizon me. 4, guys. We're gonna try and thread the needle as well here, see if we can pull this off. Crack windshield though, can we thread this needle? Yes we can, there we go. Two wheel and at the same time, threading that needle, and we missed the checkpoint though. We missed that checkpoint big time. So rewind that, here we go. Massively cracked windshield though. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. We should be able to still manage. 
Red's down, Red's down! Red is down. Normally, if we were caught up, we would have had that scene with a AI bike, one of those bi uh, bikes you saw earlier. We would have had that jump scene with one of them. But again, we had issues, and that sort of messed it up. So, Looks like uh, things happen. Uh, Blue's the only one left, and uh, if we were able to keep up, we would have uh, finished right neck and neck with him at the finish line. Um, again, we just were having a couple slight issues here. Uh, like I said, this party does not want to counter here properly. Go cross it in reverse. Oh, it actually, it actually does auto prompt that cutscene anyway. Okay. This is it, Horizon. We are kicking and off this the summer is what season with all about, the greatest guys. race of all time. Point yourself in the direction of Horizon and put your foot down. First to the festival wins. So let's go. Here we go, guys. Here's where it all Don't where it all the started. Jets aren't in the race. They just happen to be here. That's the good thing about this game, guys. One thing that I get the feel of is that they're trying to go and recapture the vibe of Horizon oh, 1. Yeah. Well, still keeping it with the modern Horizon feel. How, so you start off as a rookie, and you're no or as a newcomer to the first festival. You're no longer running it. How? And we just killed a multi-million dollar car there. But you're no longer running the festival. You're starting off as a newcomer to the festival, working your way back up like you did in Horizon One. That's something I do like, and something that I definitely. Uh, bringing a lot more people back in, and definitely hyped for that. Awesome so here we go. Whoa! Got the white horse right there. People in the UK will probably recognize that thing. The most incredible hyper cars are all Out of the way, Vulcan. I can see a Chetanaria. Valley truck. Ferrari Thank you. FXXK and a beautiful Bugatti Chiron. And is that a Vulcan? Oh, Horizon! You do not want to miss out on here. We this. go. Whoa! Look at that there we go. go. Hey, I'm not the best. I'll take the props, but I'm not the best driver out here. You gotta give other people props too. But I will take the. I'll take that. Thank you. Here we go. Exclusive Horizon T. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, already pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition. Now, guys, this is where I want to talk about the giveaway. As you guys know. What's a horizon? We are close to 400 subs. Okay, guys, and now that we're close to 400 subscribers, we are going to be giving away three, three month. I'm going to be giving away a three, three sets of three month Game Pass codes. I try my best. Is everyone here? Yep, all here, guys. boss. Ready and raring. Great. Okay. Do we have Rob here? I'm right here. As I was saying though guys, I'm going to be giving away three three month game pass codes. All you need to do to be eligible to, to, to get access to one of those codes and earn yourself an entry is go in, subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And as long, and I'll be doing the, the giveaway in two weeks right around time of the early access. So be sure to check that out guys. And once you are entered and that giveaway is there, I will be handing out those codes to those winners. So if you want a chance to go and get Forza Horizon 4 with Game Pass for three months for free, be sure to enter this giveaway, guys. And it's something I've always I've been wanting to do for a while now is get this giveaway going. So if you want a copy of Forza or of Game Pass so you can get Forza Horizon 4 on launch, standard edition, be sure to let me know with a like, a subscribe, and comment hey, down nice below. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Back Kira, to the director here. of the festival. Looks like you've made a good impression with our talent scouts. Oh, this Kira's back, okay. Taking a spot on the roster. Rebecca's one of our former champions. She's giving me a hand running the Horizon Road Racing Series. Excited? I remember my first day at Horizon. It's all pretty surreal, huh? I'll leave you two to get set up for the first race. Good luck. So as you guys know, Kiera was in Horizon 3. Uh, she was very much the one who directed us. It's nice to see her come back for Horizon 4. Uh, I do like how you actually see your character in the cutscenes now. 
Um, so we've got for the first car, we've got the Charger, the TTS Coupe, and the Ford Focus RS. As much as I'm an American car guy, guy, y'all, you all know I love my American muscle. For this video, I think we are going to go full European here and go with the hot hatch. We're gonna bring out that Ford Focus RS. You guys know I love my nice Ford. Choice. We're gonna Maybe go with this car here. On the planet right now. And designed right here in Britain, don't you know? Car looks beautiful. Right now we're at 393 subs, guys. We're very close to that 400. So we're gonna hop in this thing. And keeping with our normal tradition of the license plates, All right, we are going to go with TDG393 for that. So I'll see you guys once this license plate is done. License plate TG TDG393. There we go. License plate for this. That will be updated as we gain more subs as well, guys. So keep that in mind. And here we go. Let's go and see how I this you want to get a feel how it hatch car. feels. So I've signed you up to some events to get you started. See you there. So, thank you, Rebecca. All right. So first one is right here, guys. For it's a Horizon Festival Spurge. We'll see how this one feels. Overall, though, the, just look at the graphics on this game. Real quick, the detail on the car, as always, is amazing. Uh, we are going to go in here real quick, though, and look at the customization. I uh, don't think... We, again, I'm pretty sure that we do not have any cash at the moment. But we should still be able to look at customization. So, so it's a garage, obviously. It's where you come go. to work on your cars. Makes sense so far. So you want to we totally got, we got a massive wide body car. kit available Here's on this car automatically, guys. And the bucket system seems to have returned, which is a huge plus. And that there, that wide body kit just looks beautiful. Can we pick that up at all? I don't think we'll have the funds. So here's how much it'll cost. Look good? Oh, wait, we actually do. Okay. I'll, let's go and put that on there. We're going to leave everything else stock. We're putting that wide body on there, guys. And this thing just looks amazing. Let's go out here. Take a look at this wide body here. Uh, real quick, I need to go and kill the music. I forgot about uh, streamer uh, settings when we were doing the, the initial setup. So, to avoid any copyright ban here, copyright strikes, we're going to go into settings, go to audio, and make sure streamer mode, which is something we've all been wa uh, asking for for a long time now. Now we that will go and make it so it's easier to deal with uh, getting your, um, without getting the copyright music, but you still have your radio and everything. You can turn the GPS voice off now, so you can kill Anna, which is going to be nice. We'll leave her on for now, but you do have the option to turn her off, which is going to be a very big plus here. And real quick, let's go and take a look at, I, I didn't want to re rewind, I wanted to change my camera view. Uh, real quick, re resume. There we go. Take a look at that thing, guys. Just the, looks Turn beautiful. Left. A full DTM style kit, it looks like, and it's just that is thick. She is thick. Definitely loving that kit there. And I love how it actually stances the car out as well. So, you, with the kit now, you actually have the wheels actually poking through a little bit. They're no longer sunk in like they were in Horizon 3. So, you should be able to lower this thing, put Max Camber on it, which we will do later on. And see what this thing looks like stance. We've got Misko over here fooling about. Not sure what he's doing there. Go back into our cockpit view though. This thing just looks amazing. And here we go. See how this thing feels in our first race. Set up the event. Here we go. This thing is looking thick. And I'm loving it. I am just in love with this thing right now guys. And here we go. Welcome yeah, to the Horizon well Road Racing looks. Series. Perform here and you'll be invited to more events. Perform there and someday, who knows, I might even find space for you on the roster. Well, thank you, Rebecca. I'd appreciate that. First of all, I know we've got to prove ourselves, so I'm not going to let you down. Here we go. Here we go, guys, and see how this hot hatch feels. Normally, I'm not a front-wheel drive guy, so this should be interesting to see how things go with this. Last I checked, this is a front-wheel drive car. I might be wrong, though. It may be real. Whoa! 
just went through the AI right there. So that was wild. Not sure if that was a glitch or what that was. Driver tires are in the demo, however, the real one will. I'm not sure if they'll be uh, in the races. There will actually be the driver tires. I'm pretty sure there will be. Car feels nice so far. Trying to look backwards. I didn't want to rewind. I'm not sure. I don't think I can look back on the wheel. So, not a big deal. We're going to be using the H shifter for this race here. I know this car is used with paddles, but I love the feel of a shifter, guys. There's nothing beats having to actually move and double hand this, drive it while shifting. There's nothing really beats that. So, here we go. Got Chiefs up ahead. Shift for the win. And for those who do not remember, uh, Horizon 3 videos. He was also known as Mr. Hot Pocket for the win. This guy was always good. Uh, this guy always had to have his Hot Pocket. So he became known as Mr. Hot Pocket. Uh, Chief Soul G, good guy. Uh, you, go back and watch some of the Horizon 3 videos that we had the crew, guys. He is a good guy, a funny guy, and a great friend just to go and have him in videos. Always enjoyed having him in here. We got Misko up ahead, the guy who seemingly wanted to just fuck about back there at the festival. Here we go. Down to fourth here. Car is definitely handling on pretty decent here. And we got the lake on the left. The water just looks beautiful. Just the map design in general is just amazing, guys. I'll take a fifth place finish there. Got distracted a little bit, but I will take fifth place. I mean... Can't really complain too much. A minute 50, take that. My best finish so far. You might not have won, but I can already see you've got great potential. Keep at it, and I'll see that you're invited to the next round of the series. Thank you, Rebecca. Guys, an autumn, 24,000 credits, okay. Or 24,000 influence points, all right, no problem. Again, the car Hello, just looks beautiful I'm here. I'm Anna, your automated natural navigation assistant. I'll help you explore the festival and find activities throughout the UK. Thank you, Anna, but I don't... Oh, God, we have to. Okay. Yes, I need some okay, influence. Rob. I have set your route to a new race in the Horizon Road Racing Series. Thank you, Anna. Just let me drive and will you hey, just keep Rob. your mouth shut, please? Your radio should have presets for our resident Horizon stations. Horizon Pulse, Horizon Base Arena, Horizon Block Party, and Horizon XS. See what takes your fancy. Thank you, Kira. I appreciate that. Turn left. We're just going to take it slow through here, guys. I do want to go and check out... We're going to take it relatively slow. I want to check out the beauty of this, of the little towns in here. And the detail that they've put in to Scotland. And the UK is just amazing. I, Scotland, Ireland, as you guys know, it's two of my most favorite countries, two of my dream countries to go visit one day. And it just, this here just makes me feel like I'm there. It's some beautiful architecture, beautiful scenery. And yeah, I was hyped. I was hoping it would be Japan or somewhere in Asia for the next Horizon game. But this here, the beauty, the everything they've done with this game, it, what I've seen in the demo and it's, and what they've shown on Forza Monthly guys this game is it, it makes me it makes me uh, not upset that that we didn't get Japan like it actually makes me like Japan doesn't even matter anymore this is just amazing quality from the turn 10 developers and from playground games like they have outdone themselves this year physics wise graphics wise Listening to the community, uh, trying to give the community what they want. This is just the ultimate Forza Horizon game. And uh, I like the way they're going to be mixing it up with the, um, oh god, with adding in uh, different things, being able to go and very much have seasons, uh, route of the root creator, and just being able to actually create your own routes. Your own roots, however you want to pronounce it, uh, throughout the map. That that's going to be a huge game changer for Horizon. And I've I have to say, guys, that you will not be able to do that at launch, sadly. 
but you will be able to do that at least a couple weeks after launch. They said they're going to update the game with that feature. So that gives the people time to not really worry about that, but to worry about getting used to the game, getting the physics figured out, and having fun with the story mode, because the story mode is something they really take pride on this year, with having jobs, having these cutscenes and everything. Is they, they're really taking pride in that. And of course we got Ben up in the lead in a re in a reno. Ben in a reno. I never thought I'd see the day where I saw Ben in a reno. Uh, as you guys may not know, F1 Ben 23 is my is the born racing uh, my esports team uh, F1 general manager or F1 manager. And I just got promoted to general manager, guys. So definitely a huge step forward for me on there. And definitely some great things coming with that, but back on topic here. Uh, just, they've outdone themselves. The route creator, as I said, will come in uh, later on in the game as a post-launch update. And it's, with that guys, they've also said that uh, you will, um, there will be some limitations to that, but you should be able to do whatever crazy uh, length that you do want to put in there. So there shouldn't be too much of a limitation there, but there will be some limitations. So definitely enjoying what I'm seeing here. Got second place on that. Very close finish. And we've got some... Now with the big news, guys. The big news that I wanted to talk about the day one car pack. So before we go and do anything else, the day one car pack is something that, if you remember the leak for Forza Motorsport 7, that everybody thought it was Motorsport 7. Right, I've put you through to the next round of the Horizon Road Thank Racing you, Series. They had you like a that? James Bond. But it start until autumn. Can you they... amuse yourself until then? Yes, I can, Rebecca. They had a, they had a James Bond. Aston Martin guys and the James Bond car pack is the day one car pack featured in this is I'll wow. wait till the cutscene to you really explain are more the guys. image of Frankie Beaumont sorry Joel Carter Horizon Driver Relations now do I have an opportunity for you there's a movie shooting nearby that's in need of a stunt driver short notice I know but what do you say heck yeah we'll take this ASAP and I'll introduce you to Mike Steele He's a stunt coordinator for the movie. Thank you, Joel. But before we get in there, guys, we're going to go and mention this. The full lineup of the James Bond edition cars inspired by the films and the best of the Bond car pack for the day one car pack, guys. I repeat, the day one car pack. We first get the 1964 Aston Martin DB5 inspired by Goldfinger, Thunderball, GoldenEye, Skyfall, and Spectre. So the most iconic of the James Bond cars is coming in this car pack. We've got the 69 Aston Martin DBS from On Her Majesty's Secret Service 1969. The 74 AMC Hornet X hatchback from The Man with the Golden Gun 1974. The 77 Lotus Esprit S1 from The Spy Who Loved Me. The 81 Citroën 2CV6. From Four Your Eyes Only in 1981, the 1986 Aston Martin V8 from the Le from the Living Daylights 1987, the 99 BMW Z8 from the World Is Not Enough in 1999, the 2008 Aston Martin DBS from Quantum of Solace 2008. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the DBS is where they took inspiration for the DB10. Guys, I may be wrong on that, but that's what I have heard from my resident Aston Martin expert, King Andrew, a.k.a. now J.R. Percival, a.k.a. now Percival. Uh, we've got the 2010 Jaguar CX-75 from Spectre 2015, and the Aston Martin DB10 from Spectre. Now, the cool thing with these cars that makes them stand out from the ones that are in the game they, they will feature film-inspired gadgets that players will be able to view while in Forza Vista mode. For example, the DB5 will feature numerous ga gadgets such as the revolving number plate and extended bumper rams. 
In addition, the Lotus Spirit S1 will feature a special body kit option inspired by the wet Nelly submarine vehicle from the spy who loved me. And that is huge. So definitely looking forward to that body kit option there. In addition to the cars, players who own the James Bond car pack and Forza Horizon 4 will also receive some in-game Bond goodies, including two Bond outfits, as well as six exclusive quick chat phrases for use in multiplayer. So that is huge, guys. Definitely something that I am definitely looking forward to. Huge, huge step for the Horizon community. That I know a lot of James Bond fans out there Definitely a, something you don't want to be sleeping on. If you love James Bond and you want that car pack, you have to go and pre-order this game. If nothing else, get the standard edition, guys. This is definitely something you don't want to miss out on. And without further ado, let's go and get into this next race. But that is something I definitely wanted to talk about here. So here we go, guys. And the reason why I talk about during that, instead of uh, just driving and talking about it, is because I had to go and look on the website to do that. I didn't have it all memorized. Uh, that's something on my uh, my mistake, guys. I do apologize. Um, after we get done with this and we complete it, there is a drag strip at the festival that we can show off as well. So, oh god. That's why you don't drive on the wrong side of the road in the UK. They drive on the wrong side of the road anyway, and yet we're stuck hitting them, so... Not a big fan of that, but again, nothing you can really control, like, I'll deal with being on the wrong side of the road for this game, it's a beautiful game anyway, and definitely something that I'm glad to see. Now we've got a gravel right there. Not sure how much of the map we are able to actually travel though, guys. We gotta go do some off-road in here. Just to go and get to the destination faster. Here we go. Yards. Turn left. Some night. Turn left. Definitely nice to go and test out the off-road physics. And here we are at the place that we need to be for this uh, stunt challenge. See what cutscene we've got here. Here they are. Future star of the silver screen. Hardly the doppelganger you promised. You having a laugh? They're like twins. <sighs> You'll do. Mike Steele, by the way. Today's shoot's a getaway scene. Head over to Broadway Village. We've got everything set up there. The kid better right. be as good as you say. Dude! I'm good, alright? You don't need to doubt me. You don't right. need to go and doubt me. I got this Let's shot on. No yeah. problem. We don't want to lose the light. Okay, Mike, just chill on, okay? I'm a good driver here. Not your average, uh, mumble rapper who thinks he knows how to drive a car, okay? I know how to drive a Chiron. If we can go and keep her on the right path, that is. No damage to her, she'll, she'll be fine. Here we go, though. Take down some fencing as well. Just for the heck of it. Be careful with her. Don't really want to tear her up too much. So we're, we're being a little over careful here, guys. Just listen to the sound of this thing, you though. You made it. That was quick. Uh, right. Let's get everything set up. I just get everything set up and let's do this. You're going in at the deep end. But at least you look the part now. This is a classic car escape. The hero's being chased by a jet and escapes by jumping through an old windmill. Don't ask. If you're as good as Joel says, there should be no trouble. This was a classic hey, car. Escape. Remember to you breathe, be kid. Using the jet. Just don't let it get away from you. I'll talk you through it. You'll be fine. Here we go, though. Definitely loving the look of the Chiron. The sound is amazing. Hook it left, but keep your foot down. Oh God. Okay, we can't rewind it, so let's reverse it and redo this. That was not the way I wanted to start. Here we go. Oh God! Q pursuit. Uh, restart this event here. That could have gone yeah, way better. Uh, just messed up on that first turn there. 
So here we go, let's try this again. Here we go. Hook it left, but keep your foot down. So it looks like these are sort of maybe replacing the uh, the um, bucket list challenges, possibly. I'm not sure yeah, if it's going to be a complete replacement a or what's so going what? on. You just keep that needle in the red. Maybe do some evasive maneuvers. Oh god, oh god. Okay. Come on, Bugatti. This thing is and definitely a challenge to drive guys to be brought up on. Safe for now. Good. This is all good stuff. Oh god. Yeah, that just messed us up. We're going to rewind the car. Just, I, I need to figure out my force feedback settings, guys, because right now it just feels like once you, once you lose control, it's almost impossible to gain it back. Um, just something that I need to work on uh, with the physics of this game. No, like I said, they are more motorsport-like, but they have the definitely, hill, uh, they still got still that horizon got feel. So. Uh, definitely something I need to work on. Possibly put my force feedback settings over from her eyes or motorsport and see if that ahead. helps. So you're gonna cut across the field. They'll add something in post. Crashed alien ship or something. Here we go. Nope, nope, not gonna work. Not going to work. We need as much speed as possible. So here we go. Rewind that a second and try this again. Here we go. It's so all we'll get this jump scene here. Coverage, okay? You just line it up, floor it, and pray. There we go. Hit it perfectly. Hey, a little nice bit of a bump, forward. and there Ignore we the go, camera. guys. Try to look heroic. 789 and feet. I'll take rack. that in that Everyone. jump. 789 feet. Thank you. Kid. You survived. Reckon you can do that again? I'll give you a number to casting. Call you if there's another job. Well, thank you, Mike. I'd appreciate another job with you. So we're going to continue that, guys. Definitely enjoying that Chiron. Loving the game so far. I mean, the immersion, everything. It's just definitely enjoyable. So here we go. Let's go into the next uh, round here. I'm actually going to the next stunt driver level. Wish I could hey find a way to skip this. There's a lot of rumors flying around that you've landed a spot in a new movie. Make sure you save time to take part in the autumn season when you're rich and famous. Yeah, you know me. Well, wait, You've you don't know me, Alex, but I know you. He's you looking can count for new racers to take part in the dirt racing series. All right, guys, so we can't fast travel over here, so we're going to go and head over to this town scramble. And here we go. So get over there and turn around when it is safe to do so. Get going with this. Definitely love the way the map is designed, though. Real quick, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the map, guys. And as you guys can just see here, it is definitely a diverse mix of roads. Right through here, looks like these may be some dirt roads. Uh, but up here we go and get up here more. You can see we've got the we've got the uh, Toge Hill Toge roads right here, guys. And I know I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm not sure if it's Toge, if it's Togue. Correct me on what it is, guys, please. But right here, you've got those Togue roads. You've got the uh, train bridge right here. And this just looks amazing. Like, the map is definitely beautiful. Looks like you got a uh, Jim Connor park right here. Uh, the mud park, which is what I'm looking forward to, looks to be somewhere off over I'm not sure where that is you got Edinburgh right here you got some plenty of roundabouts so gonna be some nice drifty roundabouts in here we got your airport right here apparently what I'm hearing is there's also a drag strip right along the beach here so that's going to be something nice to actually drag strip along the beach there's multiple drag strips along the map guys and that's the cool thing is they're actually trying to cater to the to the drag strip fans. Another Togue road right here. So, I'm not sure if it's actually Togue, but it's definitely a switchback. So, definitely going to be fun to go check those out there. And we can't set routes to those to those places, so I guess those are areas that are beyond our control. Looks like the, the farthest we can go is this point here before it resets us. Farthest north we can go is up here before it resets us. And... 
Yeah, that's as far north as we can go, guys. And as far west as we can go is... And far west and north as we can go is right here. So that's where... That's the limits of the demo. It's this bottom section here. So not too much of the map is available. But just enough to give you a taste of the physics. And that's... That's good enough for me. Let's get back in here and get to this next round here, guys. Here we go. I'll see you once we get there. In 400 yards, turn right. That hamburger. Turn right. Okay, Rob. I have plotted your route to a new race in the Horizon Dirt Racing Series. Safe to do so. Alright, guys, so here we are, uh, pretty much to the location for this next series here. So let's go and hop in, see what we've got to do here. Now, there's three car choices. I know everybody, I've seen a couple videos, everybody seems to be choosing the Lancia. We're gonna stand out from the competition here and possibly go with either the Ford or the Subaru, but. I'm leaning towards the Ford you just because I want to go and uh, build up my Ford collection. Uh, stay with Ford throughout the video here. So we'll see what happens. And just loving this game so far. I mean, like I've said, everything looks good. Everything looks amazing. It feels great. Force feedback needs some work on my settings. But overall, it's all fun. My friend over there will get you set up with some new tires. Come and see me after the race if you need anything else. Uh, I love this guy's accent. Ah, I'm it's so you. Thanks. I heard about the stunts you pulled for Joel. You know how to drive, don't you? Sorry, I'm Alex. I run dirt racing for the festival. Speaking of which, you'll need a car that can handle the dirt. And I can handle the dirt, lad. Just give me the escort and I'll give you the run for your money out yes, there. Yes, the Cossie. One of the best out there. Built and tested on the local roads of Essex, wouldn't you believe? Definitely a beautiful car, guys. This is just definitely something I want to go and check out here. So let's hop in and go into this first race. Always been a fan of the Cosworth. And she just looks beautiful. So here we go. See what we can do here. The Tarn House Scramble. Tarn House Scramble. Okay. okay, first dirt race coming right up. You go and enjoy yourself out there. So we're probably going to end uh, this part, the end the video at part one after this race, guys, and then we'll hop back and check out some more of, the, of it. So here we go, go and get this race done here. Here we go. Definitely feels great right here. Oh. Okay, okay. She's rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive and um, already not doing too well. Going to rewind this as much as we can. Oh god, we got we got a levitating rock there. Okay. That was wild. But uh, yeah, I don't know why I lost so much control there. Why I'm having so many issues with this with the uh, handling on this. But it just it a lot of force feedback that needs to be reworked on my end, and I, I never had this many issues on Horizon 3 with the wheel, so... I'm 
not sure what the issue is. Um, just new game. Again, this is the, the uh, demo, so things may change for the final game with the feed, with the feedback. Um, I mean, it is still pre-release, so I mean, things can change. They can update the demo later on. You never know what's going to happen, but it definitely feels better overall. It's much smoother. But I just need to work with my own settings here. But it definitely feels like they have improved the force feedback a lot. So, we're not doing too, too well here. Um, see if we can catch up, possibly. Never was good at circuit races. Uh, it was always better to long haul. Alright guys, here we are, the turn hole sprint, here we go. Loving how this car feels right now, here we go, come on. Down to second. That Strata, or that Longsky right there, just pulling away. 037, I know a lot of people have been using that, but I wanted to stand out a bit. Uh, will that hurt us though? That's the, that's the question. So far, it doesn't seem to be hurting us too much. Uh, we're not doing the best, so we're not doing the worst either. That all-wheel drive probably would have helped us out a little bit though. Uh, rubber grips are coming off the wheel at the moment, but... Uh, all the way back to the last place now. Yeah, I definitely think the all-wheel drive would have helped us here. Barely made that checkpoint. Again, the AI is above average. Um, again, it's just trying to learn the wheel, how it's working here. Um, main issue is that. Yeah. So she doesn't want to counter steer as much as I would like. Uh, might go down to 540 because we are on 900 right now. So let me try going to 540. That's what I had on Horizon 3. And see if that feels any better. Because that, yeah, that, that feels a little bit. Let's see how this feels. Give it any more, um, responsive here. That's what I want. And so far, it feels, it feels better. It feels like I got more feeling in my wheel here. It feels like I can guide it a little better. Yeah, this is. This is much better for what I need here. 540 over 900. Once I get decent at the 540 on, on this one, I'll go back to the 900 and give it a shot. But I just want to get used to these new physics here before I do anything. Finally on some tarmac here, we can make up the ground. Go. Come on. Sorry, buddy. Oh, accident went into first instead of third. It happens with me every now and then. As you guys know, I, I'm still trying to uh, get used to the shifter. And we just ran that man into the wall. I'm so sorry, dude. Just think of all the all the people that have to repay those walls. It's, Immediately after we crash into it. Like, I swear it seems like they're right back to it as soon as. Oh god, we missed the checkpoint. I don't want the photo, but I want to just rewind. Thank you. Give me the checkpoint. Here we go. Now down to second. Back up to third. Here we go. Got that checkpoint. Barely. There we go. Yeah, much better with the 540 guys. It just it feels like it's more responsive. I feel like I can control it more, and that's why I need it. So get on the second, up the third. 
Can we get at least a top three finish? I doubt it. Can we get a top five? Definitely in the books. There we go. I'll take that. Fifth place. Not the best. But I'll, it's doable. I'll take yes. it. Yes. First race in the bag. How do you feel? Dirty. Brilliant. Yeah, I definitely feel a bit you dirty. Can go far in my dirt racing series. Uh, not like the dirty again, anyway, all people just make it though. into round two. Get your mind out of the gutter, people. I'm not talking that kind of dirty. Looks like you've uh, nearly yeah. qualified for the autumn season. And remember, the more driving you do, the more you'll build your influence. Well, thank you, Alex. I appreciate it, lad. Hey, I'm hearing good things about you. Oh, sorry. My name's Jay. I might have something that'll interest you. There's a street race meetup, and I think you should check it out. See you there. Alright guys, so we'll save the street race for the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel. We'll be doing a few different uh, videos on here, checking out different cars, uh, different aspects of Forza Horizon 4's demo, testing out the physics and everything else. Hopefully y'all will stay tuned for those. Again, do not forget about that giveaway and your chance to go get a code for that game pass so you have access to the game at launch on October 2nd. That will give you three months of access to the game with game pass and then your choice to renew it or buy the game afterwards. So great chance for you to go and be able to experience the full game for free at launch guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want a chance of that. Always be sure to Remember, the mental health does matter. Do not be afraid to seek help if you need it. Follow my personal Twitter, the Born Racing and Born Esports Twitter. All can be found in the description box down below. Till next time, it is your man Twisted Drifter. I'll see you all in that next video. I'm out.